Singapore is widely known to be a food paradise. But as we enjoy the wide range of cuisines and tantalising dishes, how many of us have actually stopped to think about the amount of food which goes to waste? The average person in Singapore generates a staggering 116 kilograms of food waste per year. The food waste generated in Singapore, uh, if you look at the 2014 figures, is about almost 800,000 tonnes. The amount that's being recycled is about 13%. We are not just looking at food that's being wasted. We are wasting all the energy, the water, the labour, the capital that goes into producing the food itself. When food waste goes to the landfill, uh, it produces methane. So uh, when you waste food, you're also contributing to climate change as well. 50% of food waste generated comes from the industrial and commercial sector. Businesses such as caterers and restaurants would tend to have high wastage due to the nature of their operations. Generally, when people order uh, catering, one of the easiest ways to make it presentable is by providing quantity uh, so that it is perceived as uh, a good value. We tend to see 20 to 30 percent wastage, probably one in five catering events where it's 50 percent. As part of the Sustainable Singapore Blueprint Project of 2015, the government has launched food recycling programs at Ang Mo Kio Box 628 Hawker Centre and Chiang Bahru Market. Hawker of 25 years Madam Lau reveals the new waste practices implemented at Ang Mo Kio. While the government is starting to introduce food recycling machines at hawker centres, a single machine can cost between twelve to ninety-five thousand dollars and may be too costly for FMB businesses to implement. For restaurants right now, at least in this particular environment, uh, it is a lot more about survival than anything else. When you talk about uh, a lease that's three years, when you talk about manpower challenges, when you talk about such high fixed costs, you know, just to start the business, you, you're really just trying to focus on keeping your business afloat and, 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 and improving other parts of the business. Since food recycling may be a challenge for FMB businesses, can we then look into other forms of minimizing food wastage? I think the first step is always to uh, reduce food waste. So measure the food waste, understand uh, what is the type of food waste, and then uh, put in place specific measures to reduce it. Uh, the second R about redu uh, redistribution. If you have excess food that's still edible, uh, either you sell it to customers at a discount or you donate it to the charities. Right? We see how Salad Stop has incorporated these two R's, reduce and reuse, in their daily practices. What we've started implementing as well is that um, we have Salad Stop Fridays. So at the end of the week, generally the team uh, has salad stock for lunch. So we basically make everyone have a salad uh, or wrap. Uh, and again, that, then that helps uh, reduce wastage a little. So sometimes if there, there is quite a bit of wastage, then we'll just move that to another store uh, close by. Practices to reduce and redistribute food have already been adopted by some businesses, suggesting that they may be more viable options. Perhaps we should prioritise our efforts on these two R's instead of mainly focusing on recycling.